Today I'm going to show you how to make this a really cool looking dark chrome effect in Photoshop. All right, step one is the artboard size. Mine is 2048 by 2048. Let's select the type tool. I'm going to type in the letter M, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up. And for this font, I went with the DM serif display. From here, all you need to do is double click on the letter M. And first we're gonna go, of course, with the bevel and emboss. Make sure the depth is all the way to max. I pushed the size all the way to 80, soften is on zero. And the angle is on default and the gloss contour, I switched up to this one. Make sure to push up the highlight mode somewhere around 70 and the shadow mode also somewhere around 70. I also am gonna add the inner shadow, increase the opacity somewhere around 70. This, the displace is 27, so it's gonna add an overall shadow on the upper right part. As you can see, also the angle is on 62 degrees and the size is on 24, so it's more softer. Also activate the inner glow. Right now, the settings is going to be on default. Just make sure the opacity is, is on pretty high, somewhere around 70, and of course, the size is on somewhere around 18, 20. I also gonna activate the setting, opacity is on 50, angle is 90, this place is on 23. And as you can see, this is also adding more contrast and shading. And also I added the gradient overlay, which looks something like this. And these are some darker gray nuances. And after that, you click OK and you switch up the angle to 160, or you can experiment with it. And mainly this is it, I'm gonna click OK. And from here, we're gonna go to the adjustment layers, scroll up, and let's select the levels and with these handles we're going to increase the contrast in order to look at really sharp if i pull this all the way here it's going to make it really high contrast and if you want you also can go back to the adjustments scroll down select the gradient map this also added even more contrast which looks even better but you also can switch up the colors for example i'm going to click here on the gradient and i can add more here i'm going to leave this black here because it is adding a really nice contrast and i'm going to switch up this color here from black to i don't know somewhere around blue maybe click ok add another one and test it out so check this out how good this looks i'm going to click ok and yeah this was it if you like my content don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching <laughs>